Hey guys, Wicked Beef Crew here, and today we're comes to episode two of uh, Noob to Pro, and today we're gonna go uh, with, do a little bit of mining. Uh, and here is uh, some of the best logic you're gonna hear. Never dig straight down is actually not that big of a deal, honestly. Okay, it, th that's the thing that most people will tell you. And they're gonna tell you that you're gonna be that you are incredibly stupid for digging straight down. But the way that I'm doing it, I do it in a, in a two by one hole going going straight down. That way, if there if there's danger, if there's danger beneath me, I would be able to see it before I fall down into it. Since I'm standing on the middle of both of these blocks. Now this is gonna. This mine I'm gonna make is gonna be going down to around level Y12 or 10 due to uh, all the ores, you know, diamond, uh, redstone, lapis lazuli, lapis lazuli, gold, iron, coal, they all generate at their maximum capacity uh, at around uh, Y10 through Y5. So I'm going to skip ahead until I make it down to about Y10. Guys, I am at Y10, as you see from my map. And I'm starting to uh, make my uh, mine. So I'm going to later extend it uh, more this way, more to the, you know, south. And I learned this from Tangle Tech on YouTube. He's a good, he's a good redstone YouTuber. And he does very well in, his, in the Hermitcraft series. So he... I made this video about the most efficient mine branch mining system and and I really really like it that it, it's uh, helped me a lot in a lot of other worlds so I've been doing it a little bit on both of the sides so so he's he was explaining it as to the ratio of blocks mined to blocks exposed so for t every two blocks that I mine going this way in a two by one tunnel, I expose eight. And when I do these little things on the sides, for every block of mine, I expose four. The reason these are two blocks apart is that because, well, most vein, most ore veins are two blocks wide. So yeah, it wouldn't make any sense just to make them one block apart. And I would keep going this way with it. Put a torch every second one. And, uh, I have some lava over here. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna, you know, keep going that way. I exposed this part of a cave, and in only the second episode, I found diamonds. Yeah, this vein contains six diamonds, as you see. There's a one by one up here. There's a two, one by four in the middle. Then there's one by one over here. So if you can do the math, one plus one plus four is six. Six diamonds, that's incredibly well for only the second episode. And if you're going to be mining, always remember, if you find one piece of ore, dig around the ore. Because there's bound to be more around it. Uh, and ores are mo more likely to spawn di diagonally from each other than uh, right next to each other. So I'm going to make a stone pick. I'm going to try to find some more iron and I'll be back once I do that guys I found some iron now and here's a little tip for when you're dealing with lava lakes always bring gravel or sand because if you don't even know how deep the lava lake is you could easily fill it up with gravel or sand because they are affected by gravity they'll fall to the bottom see it already made a little path and I can make a little platform in order to collect this iron now I want to make sure that none of the areas are going to be exposed to lava. So let's see, that's one iron ore, two iron ores, three, four. Now I'm going to dig around just to see if there's any more iron. There probably isn't. Sorry if you hear any noise in the background. Uh, people are shooting off fireworks and it's actually getting a little bit on my nerves. Uh, unfortunately, I can't do anything about it. Okay, so I'm going to make a furnace down here. 
That's how you make a furnace with classic crafting. And now I'm gonna make now I'm gonna smelt up all four of these iron. And here's a little uh, fun fact. Uh, each uh, wooden plank it smelts uh, one and a half items. So if I put down three three wooden planks, it should smelt four and a half items. But that's just gonna round down to four. And I'll be back once it's done smelting. Okay, the iron is done smelting. Now I'm going to make some sticks, and I'm going to make an iron pick to collect the diamonds and the redstone, since I love both of them. Okay, redstone gives us good XP and uh, an abundance of redstone. Yeah, stupid fireworks. Okay, Did, got that one over there. There should be some... In one of these mines, I'm pretty sure. I guess not over here. Probably over here somewhere. There's that redstone. And yep. Now always dig in. The, not always dig around. See, because these two redstone, three these three redstone ores were hiding from my sight. Now there's no more here. I'm gonna collect all these diamonds. One, two. Look, there's coal up there. Now, I'm just going to say it right now. Uh, caving is a good way to get a whole bunch of resources quickly without mining that many blocks. But remember, caves are eventually going to run out. And if you're playing on the PC or in one of the worlds that's, that are infinitely large, you know that the ground is never going to run out. So, it's just going to keep uh you're gonna be able to keep mining in one direction or in multiple directions and gather all the resources that are there and there's lava here yikes gravel is incredibly useful even though it can get annoying sometimes And this may be one, an episode where, uh, well, this may be an episode that I'm not going to be able to post, and I'm not going to be able to post for a little while. Uh, my family and I are going to be uh, moving, so it's going to be a little bit difficult to, uh, to record an episode on my Xbox. My Xbox is packed away in a box. Uh, you know, all that normal stuff. And I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you, and goodbye.